Hi, this is Jerry Jones with another special report. Woo! We are here at the New Ringgold in Schuylkill County, the best fossil site in eastern Pennsylvania, to see what we find today. Woo! Wait, what just happened? While I'm not sure who's running this show, I do know we're here to find trilobites. So Jerry gives us a rundown of the types found here. Somebody did a study on these uh, trilobites in around 2013. And we don't have any fake ops ran in Pennsylvania. They're now called Elzigia. State legislature is not going to go back in session to change everything. So when you look on the internet, it's still going to say fake ops ran is our fake fossil, and that's just what you have to look for. So, so they are here. There's a trilobite that has a spine uh, coming off the tail called green ups. They are here. Uh, there's actually a larger trilobite uh, called Diplora. They are here. So I'm coming over here to the water to wash off a couple finds I just found. That's not water, that's ice. Here's some water. Check this out, everybody. These are some of the large brachiopods that you can find here. Check that out, that is a great specimen. That is huge. And I have a smaller one here. Let me try to wash him off. This is a well-preserved palesopod, better known as a bivalve. Look how nice that is. That is a full specimen right there. Pretty cool. Just came down to Trilobite Alley, and I'm here with Chelsea and Mike, and they pulled out a full trilobite. It's on both sides there, but wow. Pretty cool, the head's sticking out, and then it moves down the pygidium, the tail. It's pretty cool. What do you think, Chelsea? Awesome. Congratulations, good job. <laughs> Find you. some more. <laughs> so we're all sitting here picking through rocks, and Dave walks up, and he's just like, hey, check this out. It's right here on the ground next to you. Look at that. Wow. Second that, one ever. Just amazing. It, that is a full specimen from the head to the pygidium. Very great find, Dave. I'm awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I was just sitting here on the ground, picking out brachiopods that I thought were cool. And after about five minutes of sitting here, I finally look below me where I'm sitting. And there it is, right there. Huge pygidium, roly poly trilobite, right at my feet. <laughs> Just gotta make you laugh when you miss it the whole time and it's sitting right below your butt. Let's go give this to one of the youth members here. Who wants to try the bite? Closest kid, it's yours if you get here first. All right, looks like we got a big winner here. He's coming running. What's your name, little guy? Damien. Damien. Damien is getting one of the best trilobites of the day. Check that out, little guy. What do you think? Thumbs up? Oh yeah, woo! <laughs> Finding lots of fossils there, Jerry? Still good. All right. Trilobite. <laughs> so I'm here with John. He was just cracking a rock and pulled that little gastropod out. That is really nice. I have not seen one so fat. Uh, usually they're a little more squished and a little smaller. That's a really nice specimen you got right there. Great job, John. Thank you. So I'm back with Mike and he just pulled out a piece of fossilized wood. Check this out. It's not petrified wood. This is fossilized wood. Very cool. You can still see the bark on that. Great find. And Renee with a trilobite, of course. <laughs> Always finding the good stuff. Good job, Renee. So I came over to the eastern corner where earlier this year on January 1st, I actually found a cast of a large Diplura trilobite fossil. Guess what I just found? I may have found the head. Look at this, everybody. You see that? You see the eyes? There's the eye. There's the middle of the head. And you can start to see it going into maybe the tail there with the ridges. Look at that. That is probably I don't know, two inches long. That's the largest head I have ever found. Very, very cool. This is Jerry Jones bringing the geology to you. Back to you, Dirt Man.